It's your final product that you want to show to your customers. You don't want any of your, you know, developer notes inside. Same goes to anything that you post on your repository. Hi, thank you for clicking on this video. And today, what I'm going to share with you guys is me reviewing some code because I think that I guess some of you guys like like my five flutter clean code tips that you need some uh, some 13 people like it four people dislike it I was googling on how to do like a uh, pie chart so I chance upon this article canvas tutorial 04 how to draw a pie chart and with a round angle in flutter and this article helped me a lot in searching on how to create that you know pie chart so he has like different designs Alright, so this is the design that I was looking for, this pie chart. So it's a very simple pie chart. Uh, credits to Naibin, so I'm going to link his article in the description. This is the source code of what uh, I was looking at when I was trying to create this, this design. So first thing first, if you want to show off something, if you have commented stuff, like don't comment the import. Like, it's, it's as good as no no imports of this uh, this package. So just remove it. Next thing, okay, so this is the line of code that I wanted to see. So in order for you to have this uh, created pie chart, you need to extend custom painter. So you have a start angle, makes sense. Next is that you have this painting style, color blue, stroke width 2.0, is anti alias. Next is paint.color, colors.gray. Okay, so this. Oh, what? See, he has commented again also, which I'm very confused. It's your final product that you want to show to your customers, you don't want any of your, you know, developer notes inside. Same goes to anything that you post on your repository. You know, like a tip. You know, if this is master branch, you could clearly see it's master branch. If a master branch has like commented stuff, right? Then I'm saying this is a bad habit if you were to work in, in a workplace, you know, because people don't want to see your commented stuff, you know. It's very ugly. It makes you like you're not a clean person, you know. So just delete this, you know. Yeah, I'm complaining, you know, I'm complaining. Okay, second is that. So uh, basically, you're instantiating a paint class object with the first color blue normal. Then he overrides the... Uh, okay, the variable is paint, right? So then he overrides it with colors.gray. And then he overrides it with red underscore dark one. And then paint.stroke width as 20. But the stroke width here is 2.0. And then you have your style as stroke. So this is the most confusing thing when I was looking at the code. I'm like, why, why do you overwrite it after that? I don't know what he was situation, but I think is that if you don't clean up your code along the way, right, it talks a lot about your work style. You just want things to be done. You don't want to clean up. Uh, it depends on your future employee or boss. Uh, if they want results, they don't care about the code, then do this uh, messy code. Uh. But if you want to be a good developer, which I think most of us want to be, right, then always clean up your code, you know. Because if you want this painting style to be stroke, then just put stroke. What is the reason to put this, you know? So that's it's very confusing. Sources. What does sources mean? Okay, you don't know, right? It's okay. You have the function. Maybe he will put it in the comment. Alright, so there's no documentation of what what current index means. Like, what do you mean by has current? Yeah, right? So I don't understand. What's current pain wave? So does the pain wave will get bigger? Okay, so you have this assertion. What I think is that if you want an assertion, right, it should have a message because when there's a message, it's easier for developers to just understand what the error is. If they don't know, right, then, then I will need to use my brain power I mean, the philosophy for me, I think, in coding is not to use your brain to think of what the code means. It is to solve the business problems that your employers want to solve. And if you don't put in the effort to resolve future confusion, right, then, like I say, it shows a lot about how you are as a developer. So next, you have the painting style here. This is for draw art group. 
So what does the painting style here represent? Why do you need paint? Hold up! So... It's practically useless. He created paint here that's not passed inside this draw art group. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, maybe I don't know, but no, you don't. You 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 never use this paint. You don't. You never passed it in. Oh my god! Uh, holy shit! Okay, right. So I probably need to fork this project <laughs> to re actually see what what's being done over here. Yeah. So this is the code that I was talking about. Like, you put blue normal here. Okay. I assume, I might be wrong, I might be wrong. I assume that if I delete this whole thing, right, nothing will change. So I'll just restart. Okay. If I click on this, right. Yeah, nothing changed. It's it's working. So there was practically a useless paint instance. If you have problems, just resolve it. If you have unused import, just resolve it. I understand that this is just like a fast fast game, kind of like. Fast game. Fast game meaning that you want to finish this project at a fast pace, not caring about the result. I mean, that's fine. You do you, man. Like, for me, I care about the quality of what I'm putting out there. That's <laughs> But yeah, it's fine. Okay. So, okay, so what I'm trying to say is that if you work, just, just put this. Oops, this. You know, you already put in a type of list, right? Radiant. Just put this, empty list. And then this radiant will... He gets it lah. He gets it. So your starting is list of double lah. So if I were to put uh radians dot I think add ah. You got add. So it's double. So you know radians is list of double right? And then it adds. So it must be a double value. Okay. So you could see that putting a type before your variable helps you with the ahead of time kind of error. So it's not a compile error. And this says the argument type string can be assigned to the parameter double. Right. So great. You it's good to have that. This is very, very redundant. Unless, right, you put it like this. You know. It, it still works, but this is the best way to, to do it. In my opinion. You may have other opinions, but whatever. It, it it checks the type for you. So you don't have errors in the long run later on, I would say. Okay, uh, next thing is he has two four loops with the same statement. So in my mouth, it's like, why does he have that? So that's why um, just putting this here works. Okay. And then if you save this, right? Oops. Oh, he needs the total first. So what he can do is that instead of a for loop, right? You can have a for each. So... Okay, so sources for each element. Because if you have these two, then it's confusing. Like, why do you have these two? Then then the first thought I have is like, okay, why not put it down? It's like, oh, you need to calculate the total amount. Okay, so don't put element. It's so vague. So for each value, you know, sources has its own value. So what he's trying to do is that he wants to put the different individual value right so you got individual value divided by total and then you can times two times pi okay next is that now this thing stroke he overwrites it here so yeah you just put it here la and you just delete this see nothing changes because previously it was fill so if i were to remove this it will look like this Okay, it looks like inner bits. <laughs> <laughs> but just put stroke. Just put it here. You don't have to put it later on. Okay, right? Okay, very good. <laughs> Next is that you have a start A. What the fuck is a start A? <sighs> what is start A? What is start A? What is start angle? So it has a start angle of zero over here. Why do you need a start A? Because you are going to increase it. I'm going to remove this if has whatever. Right? Okay, so command shift L is where you get all your start A thing. Okay, so you can put the angle here. Right? Just put angle. I'm going to show you something also. Stroke cap. 
Okay. So actually, stroke cap gives you this design. So if I were to put stroke cap round, stroke cap round it has already done it for you. But we'll see how it looks like now. Now it's different, lah. So you can see. So you have this eye. So I don't like this eye. It doesn't make sense. Even though we all know that this eye means uh, index, right? What if the person is not a native English English person? So just put index, ah. You know, just just put the word. There's nothing wrong. You know, you have autocomplete in your IDE. So just put the word index. What else? So pain stroke with pain with pain with twelve. So like I say, like why do you need to override it again here? So you just delete this. See nothing changes. Okay, next draw arc with center. So you know, just make it nicer for you guys to read, ah. So let's go to draw arc with center. Get ready. <laughs> okay, so you have very simple things here. So the thing is like, for me, like why do you have a a method or function, right? That has more arguments than its own method. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm just gonna. But I understand that he's using this more than once, right? Okay, let me put it here. So he has put it at an angle. So why not I just put this angle as start radian, right? And then it makes sense. Just put this angle as start radian, ah. And then put this current radian, which is over here, as sweep radian, lor. I mean, current radian makes sense, lah, right? So let's put this current radian over here. Hey, wait. And then you have the start radian plus add the current radian. Yeah, the start radian makes sense because you are starting over here, then you add the current radian. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So just delete this whole thing. Yeah, then now you don't need to create a function for this. Like why? Because you need this. So if you really need this value, right, then uh, you can catch it in front law like... If current radian, if start radian is zero, then just if this is null, then just put zero lah. But I assume that start radian is not zero. But I guess like from uh from what he wanted was there is such cases where there isn't a start radian, so that's fine. Okay, I don't don't put the comments like that. Like just put on top, so it's nicer to read. Uh yeah, I think that's about it, right? Start radian, current radian. Yeah, so um. I mean, rather than me complaining, I will also do the necessary changes. Uh. So, if you were to override your variable over here. Now, this doesn't need an override. So, you can put final. Right? Then, start radian here. You can put it as, this is as a num. Don't put var. Just, even if you want to change it, don't put a var. Just put the type that you put in. Then, this... It's a final. You don't, yeah. I don't like to use var because it just doesn't make sense for me. Then it's assertion calls, right? Like having this simple statement will really help the developers a long way. You know, so just this one is colors. Sources should not left empty. And package 18, you click on it. Okay, that's bad. Click on this. Yeah, sources should not be left empty. Honestly, I'm very grateful for him having this because it makes me learn about how not to do my code. You know, so uh, you can judge my code. You just go to my pneumorphic code. Be as critical as you can because that's how people learn. That's how I learn, you know. I think my other pneumorphic stuff is not great. So I got, it's on the pie chart. Uh, it's very similar to what he has, but I have some of my own things. Uh. So you can see like here, calculate total amount from each category. So you can see that from this thing, right? Like when you create a class, it's easier to understand. And then start radian negative pi divided by two. Because I'm starting like inside this design itself, right? I'm starting at the top. So I realized that to start on top over here, this angle, right, is negative pi divided by 2. Then for index categories, like index for current category, I use element add. You know, 
element add index you know because dart has this thing called element add is basically those square brackets but now they put into a uh, method itself which i think is great because yeah you know what it is then you can see sweep radiant so amount of length to paint is a percentage of the parameter of a circle two times pi so i'm talking about the sweep radiant here la. so i think i need to change this thing then current category dot amount divided by total so the percentage times the parameter of the circle which is two times pi then paint dot color i have a so flutter convention of creating a global variable is to put k so that means i know oh this is a global variable that I can access in any file at the same time I use element add yeah so i like readability so i use element add so it looks like a statement so pneumorphic colors element add this index modulo so use modulo remainder to catch use case if there is more than six colors yeah so i kind of uh, followed what he tried to do then at the same time i draw an arc so from the center start radian so i have the start radian over here which is 12 o'clock i should put 90 degrees uh. then sweep radian then false and paint then there is this explanation that say the new start radian starts from where the previous sweep radian is so example circle parameter is 10 category takes uh, start radian 0 and says sweep radian 5 category takes start radian where cap category level which is 5 and then it's 7 and so on right so that's why i do this you know so having this explanation will help people say why do you need plus and equal to i don't get it so when i explain it oh i get it now you know and then i have like a simple class you know to just put my categories and amount that i have and then with the k pneumorphic uh, colors that i have inside so yeah uh, the main thing that it says pie chart so the first thing that i want to see is the pie chart not the not the different constant variables that i want to see it's best to put inside a different file but yeah that's about it like hopefully this is something useful also like i put because i feel that anyone can code but anyone who can code well is harder you need to take more time to so how you're going to prevent any confusion in the future so that's about it you know that's about me uh, if you have anything that i missed out or anything that i think i did wrong or whatever just leave on a comment down below all right so yeah so if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you want more of this subscribe thank you have a nice day bye bye <laughs>